Seven outrageous gods in history. Whether you're religious or not, it's always fascinating to take a look at the deities that have been worshipped throughout history, particularly the little known ones that are completely bizarre. So join us as we take a look at seven outrageous gods in history. Number seven, Belly Fluffagus. Little is known about this strange god. His role is to preside over belly button lint. That's right, he is the god of that awful junk that gets stuck in your belly button. The Romans were obsessed with having a god for everything, and so it stands to reason that there is indeed a concerned deity up in the clouds obsessing over fluff caught in belly buttons. Number 6. Priapus In Greek mythology, Priapus is considered the god of fruits, plants, gardens, and male genitalia. In the age of antiquity, Priapus was mostly considered the idol of a cult dedicated to sophisticated pornography. However, he was very popular throughout Asia Minor with statues dedicated to him often found in gardens. He is depicted as being a gaunt, gnome-like character with an oversized permanent erection. Scholars have suggested that Priapus is a precursor to the common garden gnome found in many gardens today. Fun fact, a grindcore band based in North Carolina take their name from this god. Number 5. Abracus The origins of this mysterious god aren't entirely clear, drawing possible provenance from Greek, Egyptian and Hebrew texts. Thought to be a god of all opposites, psychologist Carl Jung described Abracus as a higher god than the Christian god and devil, combining both good and evil into one deity. The best part of Abracus are his physical features. He has the head of a chicken, the body of a man, his legs are snakes, and he is often depicted as having scorpion feet. In one hand he holds a shield called power, and in the other a whip called wisdom. So if he doesn't peck out your jugular or bite you with his snake legs or sting you with his scorpion feet, he'll just whip you in the face and call it wisdom. That's badass. Number 4. Baron Samity You might remember this crazy cat from the James Bond film Live and Let Die. Originating in Haiti, Baron Samity is the voodoo god of the dead. He is depicted with a black tuxedo, a top hat, dark sunglasses with cotton stuffed up his nose, appearing as though he is a corpse prepared for burial in the Haitian tradition. He is said to dwell on the crossroads between the land of the living and the land of the dead. With a particular fondness for spicy rum and cigarettes, he tends to cause mischief and runs a pretty filthy mouth, constantly swearing and telling dirty jokes. When he's not drunk and chasing after mortal women, he greets the newly deceased and shows them the ropes of the underworld. I'm not really sure what the moral of this god is. Drink and be filthy? Number 3. Cardia Cardia is the ancient Roman goddess of door hinges. Yep, her primary concern is the proper functioning of the metal pivot that regulates the opening and closing of doors. So next time you have a squeaky door, why not pray to Cardia for a little dab of oil? It is also thought that she has a fondness for mashed beans. Hmm, makes perfect sense. Number 2. Tlatso Teotl. In Aztec mythology, Tlatso Teotl was the goddess of filth, midwives, adultery, and steam baths. Known as the Dirt Eater, this charming deity could give you STDs and inspire acts of vicious desire, while at the same time invite you into a steam bath to be cleansed of sin. She demanded offerings of liquid gold, or urine, and divine excrements of which she would smear around her mouth and nose. Hmm, maybe I'll just take the steam bath instead. Fun fact, Tlatso Teotl is actually the little golden idol that Indiana Jones steals at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark, and also appears in one of our animations. Number 1. Cronus. According to Greek mythology, Cronus was the leader of the first generation of Titans. Now this guy is pretty whack. To condense a very long story, basically he cut off his father's junk and threw it in the ocean, then married his sister and had kids with her. Fearing retribution from his own children for castrating his father, he promptly ate them all. 
His sister slash wife managed to hide their last child and gave Cronus a rock dressed as a baby, of which he ate also. Some years later, he was forced by his estranged son to regurgitate all the children he ate. And of course, for some weird reason, they're all still alive. Moral of the story, don't cut your dad's bits off, marry your sister or eat children. Question time. If you were a god and could create another god or goddess, what would they look like? What would they be the god of? What powers would they possess? Get creative and leave your responses in the comments below. The best answers will be featured in next week's video. Hmm, sure hope none of these weird gods smite us for blasphemy. But as always, thanks heaps for watching. Remember to share it around on Facebook and Twitter with all your friends. That really, really helps us out. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And this is the Schlapped Ham signing off. <laughs>